in an emergency or for an elective surgery. Does blood transfusion really save life? What does the Bible reveals about blood transfusion? You must not eat the blood of any sort of flesh because the life of every sort of flesh is its blood. Anyone eating it will be cut off. Leviticus 17:14. Brought to you by Lori D. Major problem with blood transfusions is that thousands of people have been infected with deadly diseases, including AIDS. A potential danger arises from blood donated by individuals who are infected, but have not yet developed antibodies, that could be detected through screening tests. Donated Blood Infected with Deadly Disease Transfusion is not only costly but also dangerous. It simply does not provide the highest quality of care that patients deserve. There are sound medical reasons to avoid blood transfusions. This presentation will highlight those medical reasons in the following slides. More importantly, though, God commands that we abstain from blood, because what it represents is sacred to Him. Leviticus 17:11, Colossians 1:20. Why God Commands Us to Abstain from Blood Jesus gave his human life for us by letting his blood be shed as a sacrifice. Then he ascended to heaven and, once for all time, offered the value of his shed blood to God. Hebrews 9:11, 12, that ransom sacrifice laid the basis for the forgiveness of our sins and opened the way for us to gain everlasting life. Matthew 20:28, 20, John 3:16. How extremely important that use of blood has proved to be. 1 Peter 1:18, 1, 19. Only by means of faith in the merit of Jesus shed blood we can gain salvation. Jesus shed his blood for our salvation. God commanded Noah to, abstain, from blood. God, allowed, Noah and his family, to add animal flesh to their diet after the flood, but commanded them, not to eat the blood. God told Noah, only flesh with its soul, its blood, you must not eat. This command applies to, all mankind from that time on because all are descendants of Noah. Genesis 9-4 you must not eat blood. God commanded nation of Israelites to abstain from blood. You must not eat the blood of any sort of flesh because the soul of every sort of flesh is its blood. Anyone eating it will be cut off. God viewed the soul, or life, as being, in the blood and belonging to him. Although this law was given only to the nation of Israel, it shows how seriously God viewed the law, against eating blood. Leviticus 17:14. Anyone eating blood will be cut off. God commanded early Christians to abstain from blood. Abstain, from blood. God gave Christians, the same command, that he had given to Noah. History shows that early Christians refused, to consume whole blood or even to use it for medical reasons. Acts 15:20. Early Christians refused to consume blood.
Jehovah's Witnesses refuse to accept blood transfusion. For decades, Jehovah's Witnesses have been criticized because of their refusal to accept blood transfusions. That refusal, based on the biblical directive to abstain from blood, has at times clashed with what doctors thought to be in the best medical interests of their patients. Acts 15:29 criticized for not accepting blood transfusion. What if a Christian is badly injured or is in need of a major surgery? Suppose doctors say that he or she must have a blood transfusion or patient will die. Of course, the Christian would not want to die. In an effort to preserve God's precious gift of life, patient would accept other kinds of treatment that do not involve the misuse of blood. Hence, Christian patient would seek such medical attention if that is available and would gladly accept a variety of alternatives to blood. Gladly prepared to accept alternatives to blood. Would a Christian break God's law just to stay alive a little longer? We Christians just like any other patients, do not want to die, but we are mindful that if we tried to save our present life by breaking God's law, we would be in danger of losing everlasting life. We are wise, then, to put our trust in the rightness of God's law, with full confidence that if we die from any cause, our life giver, will remember us in the resurrection and restore to us the precious gift of life. John 5 28, 29, Hebrews 11 6 Jesus said, Whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 16 25 Christians, do not want to break God's law. Complex surgeries without blood transfusion, is it possible? At one time, the medical community generally viewed strategies for avoiding transfusions, so-called bloodless medicine, as extreme, even suicidal. But this has changed in recent years. Thousands of doctors worldwide now use blood conservation techniques to perform complex surgeries without transfusions. Such alternatives to blood transfusions are used even in developing countries and are requested by many patients who are not Jehovah's Witnesses. Medical community now use blood conservation techniques Hospitals are now embracing bloodless surgery. An article in the Wall Street Journal published on April 8, 2013, stated, Bloodless surgery operations performed without the use of donated blood has been done for years on, patients with religious objections to transfusions. Now, hospitals are embracing the practice more widely. Surgeons who champion the bloodless surgery say this technique reduces the risk of transfusion-related infections and complications that keep patients in the hospital longer. Bloodless surgery is practiced more widely today. Witness patients often do better. The Sydney Morning Herald on October 2, 2012, issue of Australia said hospital patients who are Jehovah's Witnesses who refused blood transfusions on religious grounds, actually did better than other patients. Regarding witness patients who had cardiac surgery, the Archives of Internal Medicine, August 13 to 27, 2012, says witnesses had fewer acute complications and shorter length of stay than matched patients who received transfusions.
physicians to consider a new therapeutic approach. In Riga, Dr. Jean-Marc Debio, of the Clinique des Maussons, in Paris, concluded, we physicians had to reconsider our usual therapeutic approach. Blood transfusion which has extended the lives of many patients, but it has also poisoned the lives of others by giving them an incurable diseases. Blood transfusion poisons lives. Physicians feels bloodless surgery is essential. Speaking in Winnipeg, Duran Wong Rieger, of the Canadian Haemophilia Society, said about bloodless surgery, we feel it is essential. It's cost-effective and would definitely improve the health of patients. Bloodless surgery improves health. Preoperative treatment. The ideal approach to bloodless surgery is preoperative treatment that increases blood cell counts and improves general health. This includes high potency iron supplements and vitamins, as well as, when appropriate, doses of synthetic erythropoietin, a drug that stimulates the patient's bone marrow to produce red blood cells at an accelerated rate. Technology that permits microanalysis makes it possible to draw less blood for testing and yet get more results from that which is drawn. This is vital for premature infants and older patients who have lost considerable blood. Approach to Bloodless Surgery The future of bloodless surgery, the number of hospitals and doctors using bloodless methods continues to increase. Conferences where such knowledge is exchanged have been extremely helpful, as physicians learn of alternatives that have been tested successfully and are being used regularly. As the problems related to blood transfusions continue and public demand for alternatives increases, the future of bloodless surgery seems brighter. Public demand bloodless surgery. Watch the informative video presented by JW.org. Bloodless surgery is being performed at an increasing number of medical centers around the world. Are you fully informed of the options that are available in the field of bloodless medicine? You need to know so that you can make informed decisions involving medical treatment and surgery. Watch the video No Blood Medicine Meets the Challenge. The video includes brief surgical scenes, parents should use discretion in viewing the video with young children. Choice of treatment is your personal decision. Acceptance of some of the treatments featured in the video is a matter for private decision in accord with each one's Bible-trained conscience. Both the Old and New Testaments clearly command us to abstain from blood. Genesis 9-4, Leviticus 17-10, Deuteronomy 12-23, Acts 15-28-29. So avoid taking blood not only in obedience to God but also out of respect for Him as the giver of life. Your personal choice. Treatment with blood are riskier than what we think. We have learned, worldwide safety standards are highly variable, and treatments with blood are riskier than many assume. Furthermore, Physicians differ widely in their use of blood because of education, skills, and viewpoints. Yet, many are increasingly cautious about transfusing blood. A significant and growing number of doctors are showing a preference for medical treatments that avoid the use of blood. Growing number of doctors prefer bloodless treatments.
divine commandment does it only applies to eating of blood. God's people were given the divine commandment to abstain from blood. The prohibition was based, not on health concerns, but on the sacredness of blood. Acts 15 19, 20, 29 Some argue that this God-given restriction applies only to the eating of blood, but the word abstain speaks for itself. If a doctor told us to abstain from alcohol, we would hardly feel at liberty to inject it into our veins. Abstain prohibits blood is taken in any form. Reflect on Shed Blood of Jesus Christ The Bible further explains why blood is so sacred. The shed blood of Jesus Christ, representing the human life that he gave in behalf of mankind, is key to the Christian hope. It means forgiveness of sins and hope of eternal life. When a Christian abstains from blood, he is in effect expressing his faith that only the shed blood of Jesus Christ can truly redeem him and save his life. Ephesians 1 7 Shed blood of Jesus can only redeem mankind. Jehovah's Witnesses are well known for taking the Bible commands to heart. In recent years more than a few doctors have recognized that witnesses have benefited medically from adhering to the Bible's standard. A spine surgeon recently spoke out in favor of choosing alternatives to blood transfusions. He said, it's absolutely the safest thing to do, not just for Jehovah's Witnesses, but for everyone. Alternatives to blood transfusion is the safest. Are you prepared? All of us and Christians face a very serious decision. We must carefully and prayerfully meditate on Bible principles concerning the sacredness of blood. With a keen desire to maintain a good relationship with our Creator and Life Giver Jehovah, each must be guided by his or her's Bible-trained conscience. Galatians 6 5 Be guided by Bible-based trained conscience. prepare for an emergency, it could happen to anyone. Any one of us could suddenly find ourselves facing the blood issue. Maybe a family member or dear friend could unexpectedly be confronted with the issue of whether to accept a blood transfusion or not. During such a crisis, decisions required to be made regarding blood fractions and medical procedures. Therefore, it is very important to do research and prepare for a possible emergency. Decision should be made before a possible emergency. Being obedience to Bible command results quality treatment. Cherishing our life as a gift from God, we all must strive to do our best to live according to the Bible principles, which are inspired of God. 2 Timothy 3 16, 17, Revelation 4 11. Yes, we must obey the Bible command to keep abstaining from blood, insisting on non-blood medical management. Acts 15 29. This choice often results in a higher quality of treatment insist on non-blood medical management. Are you convinced why you should not take blood in any form? Are you now in a better position to understand why Almighty God Jehovah commands us not to eat any sort of blood? Leviticus 17:10. Do you grasp the reason why God considers blood to be sacred? God essentially views blood as equivalent to life. Genesis 9 4. Do you agree that we should accept God's view of blood and obey his command to abstain from it? The only way any of us can have peace with God is to have faith in Jesus' ransom sacrifice, and appreciate that blood has special meaning to our Creator. 
Colossians 1:19, 20. The life-saving power of Jesus' blood. Many medical professionals and other advocates of blood transfusion, appeals to people to donate blood in hopes of saving lives. However, Jehovah's holy people acknowledge that the Creator has the right to say how blood is to be treated. To God Jehovah any sort of blood is sacred. We must be determined to obey His law on blood. By our holy conduct, we prove to Him that we deeply appreciate the life-saving power of Jesus' blood, the only blood that makes possible the forgiveness of sin and everlasting life. John 3:16. Determined to obey God's law on blood. unfathomable wisdom and fatherly love of God. The command to abstain from, blood was not given as a health regulation, but it does shield us from complications related to blood transfusions. Acts 15:20. In fact, many in the medical field rate bloodless surgery as the gold standard of modern medical care. To true Christians, such developments simply confirms Almighty God Jehovah's unfathomable wisdom and fatherly love. Isaiah 55 9, John 14 21, 23. Bloodless surgery is the golden standard of modern medical care. Scriptures quoted in this presentation. The Bible's scriptures quoted in this presentation are for your reference and can be read from your own Bible. Why not study the Bible and find out about the truth from the scriptures? Research the Bible and learn the truth from the Bible scriptures. Jehovah's Witnesses, offer, free, Bible study program, that answers many of your questions. To assist you in studying the Bible, Jehovah's Witnesses use the book What Can the Bible Teach Us? This book clearly presents, among other subjects, what the Bible really says about God, Jesus, sanctity of blood and our future. Bible study offered online www.jw.org Learn the truth from, the God's Word the Bible Jehovah's Witnesses, love to teach people about the Bible, but never force anyone to join our religion. Rather, we respectfully present what the Bible says, recognizing that each person, has the right to choose what he or she will believe. 1 Peter 3:15 What are you waiting for? Start your Bible study today. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. For more Bible truths, continue to watch my videos on my YouTube channel. Visit jw.org. Each year in this new millennium, pressures on health.